Hello everyone and welcome to uh, the uh, last video on acidic and basic solutions uh, at least as far as the basics go uh, and in this video I will uh, sort of summarize uh, the uh, four basic formulas uh, I will summarize uh, what we know about them the kinds of relationships that, uh, that uh, they uh, sort of encode and also uh, the manner in which we can rearrange these equations there are four of them uh, with uh, number one Uh, the the one the main formula that says that the concentration of H plus times the concentration of OH minus is equal to 10 to the power of negative 14. Uh, this relationship is an inverse proportion relationship and it's written in the conservation form. And what it tells us is that uh, if you scale the value of the concentration of H plus by a certain factor, uh, you end up scaling the concentration of OH minus by the inverse of that factor. So basically, uh, if uh, if the concentration of H plus, let's say, uh, gets multiplied by 5, then the concentration of OH minus gets divided by 5. Uh, and if the concentration of H plus gets divided by 3, then the concentration of OH minus gets multiplied by 3, and vice versa. You can also change the value of OH minus, and, uh, and you, you, you will see a similar effect on the concentration of H plus. In terms of rearranging the formula, uh, solving for H plus will uh, we'll take OH minus, the concentration of OH minus, which is being multiplied by here uh, on the left side, and we turn it into division by the concentration of OH minus on the right side. Solving for the concentration of OH minus is similar, and I will let you try that. Okay, we'll move on to the second formula. The concentration of H plus is equal to 10 to the power of negative pH. Uh, this is an exponential kind of relationship. And, uh, and the most important thing to keep in mind here is that an increase or decrease in pH by 1 changes the concentration of H plus 10 times. Uh, it, may, uh, it may grow 10 times or it may diminish 10 times, depending on whether pH goes down or up. Uh, and, uh, and also keep in mind that if pH goes up by 1, then the concentration of H plus goes down 10 times. And if pH goes down by 1, then the concentration of H plus increases 10 times. Rearrangement, uh, solving for pH. Switch sides, solve for the exponent, and then solve for pH. All right, uh, let's move on to the third formula, which is very similar to the second formula. Uh, this, this time, uh, the concentration of OH minus is equal to 10 to the power of negative POH. Uh, why don't you tell me how changes in POH affects the concentration of OH minus? And also rearrange the equation for POH. And we'll move on to the last formula. pH plus POH is equal to 14. This is an inverse superposition relationship written in the conservation form. And uh, what we get from it is that an increase decrease in one of them in either pH or pOH by a certain amount forces a decrease increase in the, in the value of the other by the same amount. So basically, if pH goes up by 1, pOH goes down by 1. If pH goes down by 2, pOH goes up by 2, and vice versa. You can change the value of pOH and observe a similar kind of relationship in pH. In terms of rearrangement, uh, a very easy formula. Solving for pH, we take pOH, which is being added on the left, move it to the right and subtract. Solving for pOH would be similar, and I will leave that to you. Thank you for watching this video.